Aussies are going to start with the Wilson. Qualifying draw C. Hickey on the move, pulls up. Mitty was broke. Kapako will hand it off. He will oh, get it yes. back. Beautiful oh, action. Yes. That's how Kyrgyzstan want to start. Miscommunication defensively. Paid in full. Oh, Hickey. He tips like an American tourist. <laughs> Do Americans tip is that, that good? I don't I, know. I, I, th I thought we had that reputation. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Well, the system is different. You guys are more used to, to, uh, to tip, for sure. Yes. Hickey with the hiccup. Stopped and go on him. He's super aggressive I, early. I like his game. I like his game. And you should. Lanceville. Great seal position. Donald. Right on the money. Touchdown. Establishing advantage early. Give, giving it a clear path. Blanchfield to pass it. Oh, stop. Five, shut it down. Open up shot. Oh. Three, three. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I mean, I took it too far. I thought it was nice. <laughs> but that, that was a nice shot. And you know, we heard that sweet sound of the. I love it. Hopefully, we hear a whole lot more of that in this game. Hickey to O'Donnell. He's denied at the at the rim. Peckoff with some good defense. That ball deflected. O'Donnell either pass it up or wrap it around. Hickey. Oh man, he's got, he didn't didn't just do what you love so much. He got the pace, the euro, the control. I'm hey, I, I'm becoming a fan. I got it. I like his game a lot. Hickey is deep in his bag, man. And he's, he's wearing the, the Kobe sixes. He's crafty. He's quick off the dribble. He's tough. Good size, too. I'd say he's probably he's be about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, from here. Oh. You think so? Uh, yeah, uh, no, I think, I think he's a solid 6'5". Uh, you know what? From, from this angle, yeah. I think he's a solid 6'5". Okay, he's bigger than me. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm sizing him up. All right, he's 6'5". We'll give it to him. Adiev, two peaks on the way. Missed. Hickey. He's dangerous. Iso game. Okay. No choice but to foul that man. And the choice is made. Hickey takes it upon himself whenever he's guarded by Adiev or Kapakov. He's like, uh-uh, guys. Space out. I got y'all. At the strike, hey, hey. Hickey, can't Hickey lost his focus for a second. He thought he could literally you know, just dead ball situation, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, coach, you got to tell him this now. <laughs> Six three. There's one thing that I don't like about Australia's defense early in this game. They're not focused on the switches. They end up with two people on the ball multiple times, giving uh, clean opportunities to Kyrgyzstan, and that's not a good look defensively. You cannot just count on Hickey's to 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 shine offensively. To, take you where you want. You got to figure it out defensively as well. well the Aussie teams of, of the past and route to these three gold medals have always keyed themselves on defense. Right. You know. But right now, they're, they're not as focused as game one. And Kyrgyzstan is a team that executes 3x3 collaborations to a really good level. They're very decent with that. And if you make the mistake of jumping two people on the ball or not communicating and, and diving two, two guys on the dive man and uh, allowing them to take open looks, they become a very dangerous team. You got to keep pressure on them. You got to play defense solid, communicate, make sure you don't give them easy looks. I think it's, it's as simple as, uh, as them not being to heat. <laughs> okay. Kyrgyzstan is a different level team. And, sure. And, and, and Australia, this is this was not going to be a walkover game. Now, 
Obviously, we don't know who's going to win it, but I would be shocked if, if Australia just beat them down. I, I don't expect this to be a double-digit win for Australia, and I think they could win it by five or six. Yeah, but I, I agree with you, Kyle. The main thing for me is more so what kind of looks you're giving your opponent. It's yeah. not about them making shots. It's about what kind of things you are allowing them to get. Practicing the right habits. Yep. Oh, yes. That's a carry. The enemy's hit like fanny pack. Got like caught. a Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> the throwback. Throwback. Like a sidekick, T-Mobile. Facts. Oh, yes, my. That's an inside conversation. We, me, and, me and Angelo was talking about this last night. Don't if ask you, us why. If you, if you guys don't know, just Google sidekick T-Mobile. That one broken up. Oh, Donald. He gets to it. Icky. Oh. Offensive foul call. And setting that screen. TV timeout time. And we got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, Kyle. When you see the way uh, Team Australia is built, they got size with all four guys. They're strong and athletic. So the main thing defensively is you're going to switch. You can afford to switch. And you need to communicate, and you make life miserable for most opponents because you got to make them work that much harder and collaborate that many more times for them to find some some kind of gap. But if you're nonchalant or losing focus defensively, you're allowing them to get open layups or get open shots, and then you make your life hard on yourself. Kind of like this, for example, Hickey and um, and uh, Davy were almost both jumping on the ball. And if the pass was well adjusted on the dive quicker, it would have been a wide open layup. Yeah, bad pass. That's what caused Kyrgyzstan. Hickey. He's on attack mode. He'll get it to Davey. He air mails it. Foul on the floor. And that is just number two on Australia. Kyrgyzstan, by comparison, have five fouls. More fouls than points at the moment. We were talking about Modu. You told me he's 18 years old, right? Yes. But isn't O'Donnell 18 years old? Yes. So that's what I mean. You see the what I'm trying yeah, to say? The difference in, the men in mentality. Yeah. Like in O'Donnell is a factor on yeah. his team. He's, he's strong and he, he plays like he is strong. And Modu oh. could do that. So I encourage the kid to, to yeah. think that way. They nearly threw it away. Hickey's got the green light, but not a green release. Okay, then. Back off. Got the step. Tough defense. Blanchfield. Oh, he gets the friendly roll. First look for him in this game. That, top, that touch was soft as your mother's. 9-4. And Australia in this game right now has been relying a whole lot on Hickey's one-on-one -on -one ability when you remember how Blanchfield started the previous game. They can hit you inside, they can hit you outside. They got guys capable of making a difference individually. So it's all about, for them, keeping that focus. That's a wide open look. Deep attempt, missed. Side attack. Side to drive oh, 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 oh. Four. Nine, four. That shot got rerouted. That's in the front row right now. We got to get a replay of that later. See what I'm trying to say? You see what I'm trying to say? Oh, Donald's getting to it. He's not an 18-year-old. He's a player. He's a ball player. Miss on the rim. Halfway through this one, Blanche failed. Couldn't land it. Davey to O'Donnell. O'Donnell! Late call, but right oh, call. Yeah. He's big and nimble. Long as the beanstalk. This kid at 18 years old, he's only going to get better. If you ever make a move like that, at 206. Great footwork. The skill set is there. The toughness also is. The free throw shooting a bit less. Yes. It's 
reminds me of Shaq. See, that's what I'm saying. If you have size advantage, if you're strong, well, play hard. Go about it like you mean it. And most of the times, it's going to go in your favor. Six point advantage for Australia. Silver medalist at the 2023 edition had one goal the three previous. Adiyev has the shot deflected. O'Donnell gets it to Hickey. Hickey, don't you turn your back on me. Swung out, and that was thrown back like retros. Pekov, this time showing some of his defensive prowess. Three seconds, ISO mode activated. Hickey's going to go right at Subanbekov. Oh, the hezzy. Got to shoot it. Lunchfield yep. forgot about the clock. That has is tough, though. It is tough. It's shifty. He's athletic. That goal never really got set on that shot. This is a set shot. All day long, still does not go down. Lanchfield with the crossover. That wasn't fooling nobody. He just. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't fooling nobody. Gotta get the hips and the shoulders into it. <laughs> Can't put it. He's like a. He's like a sports sedan. He's like a Mercedes E Class. He was trying to convince people that he's a Porsche or something. Ain't nobody buying that, bro. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, Blanchfield. Well, I'll tell you what. Mercedes is still nice, isn't it? Oh, no. Get, don't get me wrong. Oh, Hickey. Oh, Hickey. Count it plus the foul. He woke up in beast mode. TV timeout. 342 left. And well, well, we remember what you said about Australia beating down on Kyrgyzstan. Well, I said that I didn't expect it to be a double-digit win. I did say that I wouldn't be shocked if it was six, you know, five or six, maybe maybe seven. Uh, <laughs> you didn't mention no, seven. I, no, I, th I, I think I said eight. I think I said, like, maybe eight or even nine, but not double-digit. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just roll the tape back at some all, point. All I, all I hear is a Rick and 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 Rick from five to nine, right? <laughs> <laughs> As a friend, I must say, yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> As a friend. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It ain't over with, we're gonna see. No, but the problem is Kyrgyzstan now is... In the, in the in, double penalty, no, it, not the double penalty, but, but they're in it, the penalty. In the penalty, and the, the problem is that Kyrgyzstan is now not finding the, the open looks that, that Australia was allowing them to find earlier in the earlier minutes. So it becomes tougher and tougher. They, they got no rhythm from the outside, and they can't get open looks anymore. There you go. Turnover. Hickey, two for two at the line. And uh, this dude is the real deal. No mirage. 14 to 5. And Australia, you know, they're... I think the most dangerous teams are, are pick your poison type team. Right. That means that one through four, they can feature any any one of them as their primary option. How do you how do you prepare for that? Right. B based on the opponent, based on what you're putting on them, they can hurt you many many ways. And not many teams in this competition is capable of doing that. Yeah. Many teams are capable of hurting you a certain way and hurt you bad, but Australia can do it in all kinds of ways. Waiting too much. And Blanchfield, once again, uh, too unselfish. You know, he, while he has the ability to score, 
I, I think that's more in line with his with his game. He, he's more a player that prefers to set guys up. But if you need if you need him to get buckets, he, he can. Three minutes to go, and first layup is missed. Maybe down to O'Donnell. O'Donnell, get out the way. Not playing around with nobody. Get out the way. He made Petkoff look like a little boy. 18 years old. Let's see. 18. That means that he was born in 2006. Yeah. Oh, Based on his month of birth, yeah. I got T-shirts older than him. <laughs> I got pairs of socks that I still got older than him. 18? Man, that's 2006 is crazy, man. I was uh, I, I was leaving college. I was a redshirt sophomore at Oregon State. That's crazy, man. Oh man, damn, we're old, man. <laughs> we are now. Ten point game, exactly what I said uh, it would be. Uh, check the tape, man. Great defensive effort by Iki. Hickey, down to Davey. Davey's a bruiser. And it took a while to give him ball. He was open since the very beginning of the possession. See, that's, these are the situations where I'm unsatisfied with Australia's defense. They are not clear with what they're doing. They're not clear. Well, you don't know who's really supposed to pick up the ball, who's supposed to uh, switch. They're... I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to uh, defend them. You're complaining about their defense that's held Kyrgyzstan. Well, I got five the right points. to do it once again. <laughs> I got the right to right. do it. Because Kyrgyzstan they, is not one of the favorites in this competition. No, Don't forget but that. They're, they're a team that should be able to score more than six points. Depends against who. Yeah, that was as of I, right now, they're not better than Kazakhstan. Yes, true. True. But come on, man. I'm not, that's the thing though. I'm a fact teller and I'm speaking the truth even though the truth might be a little harsh at times. The main thing is this, I'm pragmatic and I love everybody. And, right. I, I, and, and the reason that I say things in, I, in the realest way I can possibly do it is because I want to give you facts for you to be able to build on and, 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 I think, and, also and expand. I, and not to cut you off, but I think that you're not just evaluating Australia in this particular right, game, right, 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 you're right. looking for them to set trends and, and and start and show you the right habits. And right now, you're seeing something that's alarming defensively. And while it won't cost them against Kyrgyzstan, you could see it potentially cost them in the future if they continue. Of course, of right. course, because because that's the main thing. It's like, and, and I'm so glad you pinpointed exactly my my thought process when I mentioned something. I want to give you that feedback because. The way you play one game is the way you're supposed to play every game. That's true. So that's all I'm saying. I got it. Establish the right habits. Uh, right now, they got a habit oh, of winning. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Drop it, in. It went from winning. Oh. <laughs> to Al. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Minute seven left. I, I guess the only question now is, are they going to hit 21 points? But I tell you one thing, though, and I'm, I'm picking on those little details because details matter so much in life. So that's why I'm always emphasizing it. Uh, but they're responding. We, we waited to see how they were going to behave in the second game against a better opponent. Well, we know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like I said, like... I knew it from the very beginning. Like I said, this was probably, this is at least gonna be a 10 point victory for Australia. And it could be as high as maybe even 13 or 12 because uh, they're playing that well. So I'm just gonna pat myself on the back pretty much and just say that I called this. <laughs> 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 I, that's, I mean. Guys, guys, let him have say? it. I'm let like, him have it in the commentary know, section, please. No, I'm just like Nostradamus. Yeah, I just predict things <laughs> and they usually happen. So. In bad faith. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> It's yeah, okay, man. No, you know what? You know what? Let, 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 I got to give you love because the main thing is this. You like for teams to improve. You like for teams to give a good battle. And you, you weren't hopeful, and you try to speak it into existence. Well, you know, I, I don't. 
for me, I don't care who wins. I want to see a good game. Yeah, I agree. And, and for Australia, of course, they want to they want to blow the doors off of everybody. But for me, I'd like to see a competitive game. So I think I was wishful thinking to hope it was closer. I don't care who wins. Uh, but th this this wasn't close in any way. Oh, oh, just, oh, oh, oh. oh where did he go? Exclamation he mark. Go? Hard jab. Look at, ain't nothing over there for you. That's the way to top off the win. That's an exclamation punch from the 18-year-old rising star. And right now, the boys from down under are on top after two games. Kyrgyzstan is out of the tournament officially, even though they still have one game to play.